All right, so this is kind of like my first video for my group. Um, I'm going to get together this book. I'm going to start writing actually tomorrow. So um, God's been releasing me, been pressing on my heart. It's time to get this out because there's definitely some important things that people need to know about marriage and what God has want. Um, this is actually going to save some marriages. This is actually going to um, bless some people's relationships and show you actually what you're looking for. But today's question is, um, is there any good men or women left? So the answer is yes. I'm going to answer that. We can go to the word. Um, but also, I um, want you to comment. Also, too, if you like it or whatever. Also, um, if there's any question you want me to answer, just inbox me or or anything like that. Or just put it and I'll answer it in the video. So I'll select one of the questions and I'll answer it in this group. That's what I'm going to start doing. So let's go to the word. Genesis 2 and 18 says the Lord God said, it is not good for man to be alone. I will make him a helper suitable for him. NIT, I list my favorite one. I will make him a helper who is just right for him. If you got kids, it's a helper that's just right for you and your kids. Remember that. Uh, other versions, help me, help me. Um, searched all over. I didn't see soulmate. But I understand what people say when they say soulmate. But we'll get back to the word. Um, another one, it says... I will make the woman to be the authority corresponding to him. Hmm. So 1 Corinthians 11 and 9. Neither was man created for woman, but woman for man. But again, man has to love the woman. So Proverbs 18 and 22. He that finds a good thing or a good thing, as some people say, obtains favor from the Lord. So let's get back to the scripture. So we know Genesis 18 2 and 18, that's when God said he'll make her helper just right for him. So then at that point, that's when God, you know, decided, okay, well, let's make a helper. So we go to verse 19. Out of the ground, the Lord God formed every beast of the field and every bird of the sky and brought them to the to the man to see what he would call them and whatever the man called a living creature that was his name. Verse 20, the man gave names to all the cattle, to all the birds of the sky, to every beast of the field. But for Adam, there was no found a helper suitable for him. So God hasn't found a mate yet for him, right? Help me. Verse 21. So the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon the man and he slept. And then he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh at that place. Verse 22. Then the Lord God made a woman from the rib he had taken out of the man and he brought to brought her to the man. Verse 23, the man said, this is now bone of my bones, flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman because she was taken out of man. So there you go. And I know some people are like, man, there, you know, some people say, well, oh, well, all the all the good men are taking. They're either gay or, you know, they're, they're there's none left. Um, so I've heard people say that. Um, I believe it's people that I think, honestly, if a person has been through a relationship, even women, if a woman has been through a relationship, man has been through a relationship, three bad relationships um, that can lead up to a person saying that, you know, they don't believe that there is anybody that's left as good or anything like that. Um, but again, you know, I'll teach on that on how you to be found. You got to put yourself in position to, for your husband to find you. Um, but I believe there are some good men left. Also, too, um, we may have to change our types. I remember back in the day, um, you know, my type was the, you know, loud mouth, um, you know, people or whatever like that. Women. Um, and back in the day, you know, uh, you know, get them in the bed, shut them up. That's how my old lifestyle was. Um, but I went back to God and I said, God, I said, I want what you have for me. I want your best, you know, your best for me. And don't get me wrong. Like I've met some some beautiful women as far as like, you know, their their character. You know what I'm saying? But some of them just wasn't right for me, you know. Um, you know, some of them was like, you know, I just don't really have the patience for children. Nothing wrong with them. I mean, some of them I'm still friends on Facebook. You know, if they call me and they need me to pray, you know, I'll definitely pray for them. You know, some of them I'm not friends on Facebook. Um, but that don't mean that, you know, that doesn't deter me from saying there's no good women. You know, but one thing I also learned that sometimes two good people don't fit together. You know what I'm saying? So... I remember I was trying to date online or anything like that. I'll touch on that another day. Um, and I met somebody and, you know, she was a beautiful person. You know, her idea of a husband was somebody that, 
you know, she can marry that didn't have any children. You know what I'm saying? Because she felt like um, that's the thing that she wanted. Like, that's what she saw as her, her vision or her blessing. You know, her and her husband can have that child and that well, they can grow in that bond there. So she felt like, you know, being with somebody that already had children wasn't going to work. So, you know, again, that's why it had to be, you know, ended or anything like that. Um, but again, you know, like I said, I've dated people that, you know, been in a relationship with. And, you know, sometimes two good people just don't fit together. You know, so you just got to understand that, you know, but also I just wanted to encourage you that obviously God definitely has somebody out there for you. You just got to wait on God. You know, you don't have to rush. You know, it's OK to date and talk. You know, now one thing I learned, T.D. Jake said it, it takes six months to a year to actually, you know, know if you should marry somebody or not, because at that point, that person will show their um, true, true colors. Because in the beginning, when you date, you like you're perfect. You don't even fart around them or nothing. You're like, oh, I ain't doing nothing. Hold this in. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I'm good plan. But anyway. But yeah, you know, but you hold it in. You know what I'm saying? And after a while, you just you just be normal. You just be yourself. You know, because some people like to, to mask themselves. You know, in the beginning, they try to be perfect. You know, because you see somebody crazy in the beginning, you're like, oh, man. Like, she's crazy or he crazy. You know, um, or anything like that as well, too. And then you have people that are saying, well, you know, I don't want to deal with people who got children because I got baby mama drama. You know, I talked to you on that another day, too. Um, but I just definitely want to give you some encouraging words. Um, about that as well, too, because there are people out there and don't let because of the relationships, you know, that didn't work out or anything like that. If you see it's not going anywhere, you're not going in the same direction. You know, it's OK. You know, that's to prepare you for the last and final relationship, you know, or another segment I'll talk about. You know, people say, why do nice guys finish last? It's because they're supposed to finish last. But I'll, I'll touch on that. So let's get back to the scripture. This is for husbands, married people. So you always want to, you know, drop something in there too. So we all know the scripture that says, wives be submissive to husband. I mean, everybody know that scripture, even if they don't read the Bible or whatever, they know that scripture. Ephesians 5 and 22, right? Wives submit to, submit yourselves, submit to your husbands as the Lord, as to the Lord. Colossians 3 and 18 says it again. Wives submit to your husbands as fitting in the Lord. Let's go to verse 19, though. A lot of people don't really pay attention to that verse. You know, this is God, something that God wanted to impress on my heart. You know, when I actually was reading the Bible and I read it, and I was like, man, I ain't never came across this scripture like that. And it came to life. Verse 19, husbands, love your wives and not be harsh with them. Do not be bitter. Never treat them harshly. Married men, be affectionate to your wives. Man, it's so powerful actually the husband ain't even really supposed to be arguing with the woman if you talk to the woman and you tell her you know something that needs to be changed or whatever something you don't like and it becomes to get to an argument or whatever that's when god wants you to stop you know if you find yourself creeping up that down that path that's when god wants you to start and god wants you to bring it to him god don't want you to bring it to everybody you know all right well i'm gonna go tell my homeboys man she tripping that is one of the worst things you can do man because everybody is not qualified to give you good godly advice especially in married um with within the marriage not everybody is marriage material you know some people aren't ready some people are ready you know some people are getting ready so a person could have been in 10 different relationships that don't mean that they're qualified to give you advice that's why you got to be careful so we'll talk about that but again get back to the question you know is there any good men or women left yes i believe um, it's definitely going to take God to help you. Um, but then all you got to do is just say, Lord, reveal to me who my husband or my wife is. Now, if you're in a relationship currently and you're not married, ask God to reveal to you if this is the right person for you or not. Because if it is, then God will reveal to you. If it ain't, God will reveal to you. And again, they might not be for you. And that's okay. And But the thing is, you just want to wait until... Uh, my son went off. My son went off. But then you want to, um, you kind of want to wait until, you know, God answers that, you know, God to show you, you know, God to show you the error of somebody ways if they're not. That's why it says in the scripture that anything that happens in the dark shall come to light, you know, or anything like that, you know, and that's all something that you, you want to do. You know, I remember I was in a relationship with somebody and they wanted to, uh, you know, be with somebody else. This was years ago. And again, me and this person ain't, ain't, ain't Facebook friends, um, but God bless her. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I remember we had went like on a vacation um, and she went, you know, see her family or whatever. Um, it was a distance. And, you know, this other dude, she's a 
she um, said she never dated, you know what I'm saying, because of the distance. And when she came back, I was like, you kissed him. And she's like, how you know? I was like, <laughs> it's like God, God, uh, God told me, you know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying, me and her, you know, um, I mean, that we didn't end it there, but we ended at a later point, you know. Um, it was it was a different, you know, um, thing. Maybe I'll touch on that if God shows me, shares me too, or, and, you know, and prompts me too. But, you know, the thing I wanted to say is, you know, she's not a bad person. You know what I'm saying? She just wasn't right for me. Now, we started out, we thought it would be or something like that. But again, too, you know, as a person, you know, I'm growing myself too. But one thing I learned, um, one you know, one thing that she said that really touched bases with me, she said, never stop dating me, you know. And with that, you know, you never stop dating the person that you got. So even if you're married, so even if you're you're you're, you're trying to go after a woman or anything like that, or men, if you're trying to go after a woman, whatever you do to keep, catch her is whatever you continue to do to keep her. So if you, you know, you, you treat your woman well or whatever like that, you continue doing that. You know, if you took her out every now and then or you, you know, you, you get her feet done or whatever, you know, saying continue doing those things. You know, if you come home, you watch a movie with her, continue doing that. Don't don't stop because you got her and she's a good person. Continue to do that. Continue to be there. Never stop dating the woman that God has placed in front of you. And if you are in a marriage right now and, you know, it may be a struggle. You know, if that's the case, all you got to do is just ask God to show you and God will show you. Make her fall in love with you again, man. Like, that's why she married you in the first place. You know what I'm saying? Because she loved who you are. You know what I'm saying? You could continue doing that. Just get up and, I mean, just pursue her as if this is that woman that you were like, man, like, I just got to marry this woman. You know what I'm saying? All you got to do is just act like that, man. Act like you ain't got her and you got to continue doing what you got to do to get her or to keep her, man. And I'm telling you, man, your relationship will change, man. Your marriage will change, man. It'll be a blessing like no other, man. I'm telling you, when I when I get in this book, man, these things that God want me to say, I'm telling you, some people are afraid to say it, but I'm telling you, I'm going to just say what God told me to say. That's it, man. It's going to change some things. But I just definitely wanted to answer that question. You know, is there any good men or women left? I believe so. Ladies, if you're waiting on your husband, continue to stay married, be, be, be married to Jesus. That's why it says, he that findeth a wife, not a girlfriend, not a woman, it says wife, so therefore you already have to be married. So if you already married to Jesus, then your husband will be able to find you, you know. But again, um, there are some, you know, and good too, you know, and while, you know, you're waiting or anything, just, just prepare yourself, you know, prepare yourself. Just ask God to show you, okay, God, this is what I should do. You know, I mean, read you some books on, you know, about being a married uh, or, or, or being a woman. You know, I, I encourage you to get a Christian book or anything like that. And again, myself right now, you know, being single, you know, I'm waiting on God's best for me. So I know she's coming because God said get things in order and then she's going to come. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just waiting patiently, you know, and God will reveal to me her. And so I just want to say thank you. So obviously she'll see this video. So I'm like, girl, I love you when I find you. I'm going to tell you that when I meet you. Okay, I'm good. But that's answered the question. But again, like I want to say, if you have any questions, just, just ask me. And then I'll just do a video. If that's what God prompts me to, I'll get to your question, you know, and I'll ask that question. So there's another question tomorrow. We'll get into that. So hopefully we'll get into it. So God's been saying, hey, you need to get these questions out of here and answer these questions. Because some people need encouragement. They feel like there is no good people left. And there are. And also, too, I'll tell you when you find them. You know, how to get the best results out of them. Love y'all. God bless. I'm out.